Morning world, welcome to Saturday the 27th of May and it's time to go mowing. Right, we did the blades, set, the, set everything up, um, done the gearbox all yesterday. My travel bar is locked, so we're safe to go on the road. Only thing we've got to do is when I get to the field is actually set the mower up. So we'll do that at the work. Right, let's go. It's a bright and sunny morning. The sun's still low, so I don't think we'll bother filming the journey. I'll just catch up with you when we get there. Won't we? Yeah. I thought I had a problem there for a minute. My fan knob fell off. So fortunately, I can still operate the fan without the knob. Fortunately. I didn't want to get a hot dog. We have arrived. Piece one. I don't need that anymore. Right, you stay there. I'll try not to fall over the drone. Tree guys are around here somewhere. We've got them doing a few more pieces. They've got to do some more work on that ash tree. But I think they're up that end of the farm where I can't see them. We don't need that anymore. Not yet. But then, we'll get in the field. Set them over up. I'll probably avoid this bit in the gateway here because it's a bit rough here. We can come back over with a topper later on. Right. Not exactly on level ground. So the PTO is actually not even engaged in neutral. I think we need to tip forward a little bit. Just a bit. I just noticed the top half of the top link is weighing itself out. That's why it's so tight. Because um, if you go over a thread or threads that I haven't used for ages, so uh, that's how sort of I've been. You look in now. Right then. See how that goes. I might have to tilt it forward a little bit more, which might mean taking that top link off and adjusting the whole thing. We'll see. Right then. Right, 
first time round, the wrong way round, or the right way round. This will be the first time I've ever cut this particular field, so you've got a little bit of a learning curve to go through. That is very rough there. We'll be avoiding that bit. That sounds okay. Round once. We do a bit too uh, high, and then I'll um, I'll reset him lower. Right then. Should we go in there or that top link? That could have worked. You want to come out for a minute? Come on. Tell me off when she sees that.
I think we're probably going to have to take him out of travel. He's setting up properly. He ain't flowing right. Let's do that now. So what I gotta do is take that pin out of there and put it in there. Easy to take out, not so easy when you want to put it back again. Right. That'll float properly now. He's cutting better, eh? Yeah. Not a massive difference, but the end blades are actually biting a bit better, now. Eh? So you've got the shadow of the seagull following now. He's looking for a moist that have uh, unfortunately succumbed to the mower. There's always going to be a few. Uh, so the plan with this is we're going to make hay out of it. Because we've got a long way to transport it, um, hay is lighter. Um, and hopefully quicker to load because I've only got one elephant nose uh, big bale handler which fits on the Mustang. So if I make silage over here, it means having to bring the Mustang over here to load up um, and then take it home to unload, which as you can all imagine is not very practical. So. Um, that's the idea. Make hay over here and some silage back at home. What I should have done was bought the elephant nose or a big bale handler for the quickie loader on Dad's tractor. Maybe that is a future investment. I'll see what Morecambe's got up at uh, Tippenham Farm Sales. Maybe he'd be kind to me. Well, we'll crack on. We're just going to go rain and rain a few times and then up and down a few times. You know, same old, same old. Right, so in the smooth bits, where there's less ruts, we're trotting on at about 12 kilometres an hour, so maybe about 7 miles an hour, which right now, on a piece of ground I don't know, Plenty fast enough. Uh, once we've got this sorted out, um, maybe later in the year, I'll, um, when the guys are doing some cultivating, I'll see if we can get that gateway smoothed out a bit, shall we say? Because the grassland, I don't need great big ruts like that. So um, I think in the past, some rather large farm machine has been coming out here in wet weather. Well, obviously that's what's happened. <coughs> so, a bit more repair to be done. We'll get there. The last rip round of the headland. Always the nervous one. Never know if you're going to find any pressure.
bugger. I never saw that. Bugger. I hate it when that happens. No, it's not a rabbit. It's a little baby deer. It was. Bugger. Catch up with the tree team. Right, actually, you can stay in here for a minute because I don't think it's very safe out there for little doggies. Stay there. Stay there. See what you mean. Yeah. But we'll have that one right off. Yeah. Um, you can even lift this up a bit higher if you want as well. Uh, while you're over here, I know you've got to do that pole as well. And now I've cut that, you can drive on it. I found two little deer right there. Ah. Well, no, the mower found two little deer right there. Yeah. So, um, so back out to the side at the top, mm -hmm. there's some low branches at the top that's cracked crack the tractor yeah. up there. And at the very bottom, that ash tree you can see down the bottom there, yeah. there's some low ones there, no, only a few. We'll have them off as well. Yeah. We left the stumps about knee high over there. Yeah. His bits there, we've got to dig out. So we thought, All right. if we leave them up, yeah. we can come out and dig a bit easier. All right. See where they are. Okay. Well, we've got to go and cut. That lot now. Hopefully, I don't find any more baby deer. Mm. Yeah. That always upsets me that happens. Yeah. Okay, okay. Um, I've not arranged anything else to go on to after this. Right. So I think you'll probably just find as much as we can to do over here today. Yeah. Well, you're here. Um, so just fill the day up right here. Okay, all right. I'll see you in a bit. in a minute, but not while Martin's dropping bits off the tree. You don't mind, do you? Eh? You don't mind? No. Right, so find a little bit more work for the tree guys to do while they're over here. They're here um, for probably two thirds of the day. We might as well just fill the day up. There is always bits to do. Um, and while I'm paying the wages myself today, I might as well get to do some of my jobs. So, right then. Cat over there, look. Over there. No, he's over there. See, that way. See where I'm pointing? Over there. That way. Useless.
watch out for cats in this bit. Although I reckon a cat will probably run away before I get to it, unlike the baby deer. So, unfortunately, the mower has found two little baby deer. They were probably no more than a few days old. Could be down the grass. There was no way I was going to see them. Um, it's a chance, always a chance, that you're going to find them, especially when you're cutting this early because they are so small. Um, it's one of those things that just never gets easier. It's, um, no, I don't like it. A rabbit, I can kind of, I know when life is not worth any more or any less than anything else, but I can kind of live with a rabbit. Not so easy um, with, uh, with baby deer for some reason.
four things at once. They just ain't clever enough. Gents. Team are caught up with us. That one. Hey, ha, ha. hey? No biscuit where you sat in there like that, like go on. Yeah. I oh, got air, air, air con is, in there, innit? This is the light. So you could probably deal with a drink though, so it's taking longer than I thought it was going to.
so I'm looking here. I'm trying to do too many things at once. I've obviously caught that with my elbow and adjusted the linkage high setting and I didn't notice it. So I've got to go over some of it again now because that looks a dog's dinner. So I'll have some shortcut grass. Lawn clippings. See, instead of doing this and watching them, I should be concentrating on what I'm supposed to be doing. Isn't that right? She said yes. Oh well. They would have to chew this bit so much, will they? When the beta man turns up, he's going to go, he didn't make a very good job of that. And you'll be right. Two strips that side and one that side. Grass is that long. Anyway, I'll blame it on, I'm hungry. I brought out a drink. I didn't bring any food, I didn't expect to take this long. Um, I've had to stop multiple times to answer the phone. Um, I've had to sort out pipe work for the barn because um, we've got all those put the drains in. That's down to us. Uh, father hadn't ordered any pipe work, so it's a case of we got to do it apparently by Friday or by the end of the weekend. I think they're looking at concrete in the floor next week, so any duct in we want to put in needs to be put in before then. So, uh, if I haven't got enough to do, what are they making? There you are. No point complaining, although I just did. But no point complaining because suck it up and crack on. When it's done, it's done. We can look back at it and go, it was hard work, but we're glad we did it. Mowing is done. At least this bit. Biscuit, come on. Come on. It's time to go over and have some dinner. I expect both of us are hungry. So, yeah, the machine's packed up, locked up, in trouble position, and secured. Idiot lights on. Time to go home.